What's up my dudes, Valk here, and today we're going to be going over Darth Vader who recently got his top path giga buff, so we're definitely going to be taking a look at it. You guys can see the amount of just raw attack he has too, I have him at 234 power, rank 2. Uh, he is potentially is in a good spot, we're going to be checking him out. As always, you know we're going to Shibuya City Act 3 because the odds are the chances of getting a Toji at the same time as doing all this is too enticing to pass up. So why would I not kill two birds one stone? That's why I keep running at this stage. Because if I'm going to be making a video, I might as well get some grind in while I'm doing it. You know, min-max. Anyways, we're going to go ahead, put down our Sakura, then we're going to come here. And I just want to see like how good the Force Choke is now and his bottom path. How good is it? Uh, because I do think he has multiple placements, but like I say, he's still very expensive. At 1200 to place and everything, that makes it so he's very niche. Uh, but he does still have a lot of potential. So yeah, I'm really excited to see exactly what he can do after the buffs Because I know Darth Vader. It's like a fan favorite character. I like Darth Vader I don't think there's a single person who doesn't like Darth Vader. Darth Vader is pretty sick um, But yeah So we're gonna go ahead now and do this and see exactly what's happening mm -mm -mm. So Now we're just waiting and any second now here we go all right so now we're going to be able to start our little income empire um i do like having to like spend the first six waves or so straight up grinding up a bulma that part's always funny to me but we're going to go ahead and see exactly how good darth vader is right now he has a lot of potential to be uh pretty damn good so we're going to see but the only thing I'm really worried about with Darth Vader, and I don't think it's going to get fixed, is just simply uh, the hitbox sizes. The hitbox sizes are very, very small. His line is very, very tiny. Um, and his semicircle at the top is, or on the top path, is also very small. So it's going to be very curious to see exactly how good he is. So first things first, we're just going to go over bottom path because I think it's going to be easiest to cover. You guys can see what I mean by the line. Uh, the line is very, 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 very small, but it it you know it goes pretty far and it does pretty good damage because he has a very, very high base attack, which is also really, really nice. And then there's also the fact that the Tie Fighter does a ton of damage as well. So next up, we're going to do Top Path. You can see the size of his circle. It just it really doesn't get any bigger. It stays very, very small. But now he has access to this, not the nuke, but he has access to a very constant force choke. You guys can see exactly how much damage he does with that. At 7.3K, that's pretty good. How many placements does he have? He only has two placements. So it's not like anything super crazy. Um, I think the main issue he's still gonna like suffer from is two things. One, his price is really, really high for what you're getting. Because he does do a ton of damage, but it's so centralized and so small that it's kind of like, eh. And two is actually the hitbox of it. But I'm thinking now his SPA might be high enough to go with his, um, or might be low enough because now his SPA got turned from like 10 times to like only four times. So now with two placement, he actually might be able to cover because he basically is a full AOE on a 16.0 SPA. Meaning if you manage to get like light speed on him, um, omnipotent and light speed, for example, could be really, really damn good. You pair that with, um, what's her name? Shinobu. You pair that with Shinobu and you get that SPA really, really low because it's four times of his SPA. You might be able to get some really, really funny stuff going. So yeah, I think he actually is in a good spot. You ignore this circle and pretty much think of it as full AOE. And that's basically where you're working with. You can see he's pretty much soloing these all this all on his own it's just the only thing is the cost he's still 16k to go ahead and do that um like if i was to place him i wonder how much before he just gets straight up to the force choke 1200 to place 600 and yeah he gets to this right here and this is whenever he's actually fully online with the force choke and able to do damage like that but there is a lot of potential here um i think something like i don't know like ceo key of kings etc could help him out a lot in the cost department because he is rather expensive but like i said he's basically full aoe now uh full aoe with a little mini nuke is pretty damn good in my book 
Anyways, that's basically the video. Not really a whole much or a whole bunch to really talk about with it. It just, they giga buff the hell out of Force Choke. So now Top Path is, it doesn't show it, but it's basically full AoE now. Uh, this is what you're working with. You could definitely get the full AoE higher. You could probably get it to where he essentially covers the whole map. And he's able to do big boy damage and slow all at the same time with enough range. So if you were to get something like CEO, for example, and light speed, well, I don't think the um, SPAs would stack. So you'd want CEO at bottom and then light speed at the top. And then you might be able to work with something if you can go ahead and give him like All Might Hair or the Mangekyo or something like that. And he might actually be able to be a really, really good damage option in that regard. Because he's going to be able to stun, he's going to be able to lock up, and he's going to be able to rewind. Anyways, that's basically the video. Thank you guys for watching as always. Uh, Darth Vader might genuinely be pretty good now. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.